Hi. Hi, good evening. Five of us. We're here for first day? Yeah. yeah. Under Jason. Yes. Okay, cool. There's not a bar, is there? Or they can't go to the bar. There's not. There's not. Cool. Thanks, buddy. All right, heading over to Per Se from the World Trade Center. This is how you're going to get there. I think I got the subway figured out. We'll see. Right up there. That's it. And it's not it. Right? So that's going to give us... We're looking for one. That's red two, red three. That's how we want to go. I hear it from under there. Yes, it is right there. I hope we do not see a rat. Go down. Go. to record. I'm the worst. All right, show me, boss. Yeah. Per se is the first one on the right? Yeah, thank you. Five of us. We're here for first day? Yeah. yeah. Under, Under Jason. Under Jason, yes. The table's not quite ready. We'll be ready to look closer to our station. Okay, cool. Do you want to go ahead and give this a little? What size? Our numbers are a little bit different. Not even close. Okay. You got bigger? I don't think we do. I think this is our biggest. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. I'm sorry. We're good. Ready, girls? Let's go. Put your stuff away. Yes, sir. Bye, How are you? Great. How are you? Okay, so you said it's about how much for us? $3.90 per person for the standard, and we can do whatever you'd like. So I had the $1,000 at Joel Rubichon. Oh, cool. What time you have? You also 
do something, do you do something off menu for the kids or how do you normally do that? I'm, I'm about to go into all of that. So, no, so they do not have to commit to the full menu. Or do we pick the stuff or do you just bring it up? We have to select it. Okay. So, so first here between the two. Understood, yeah. And then the second one between the salad or the pot. Okay. I thought it was a surprise, but yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, I was no surprise at this. Uh, and then uh, two seafood courses, uh, tuna and uh, no salmon for you. No salmon for me. No. Like, like uh, so, uh, like tuna or the langoustin. Uh, so this, like, you don't have to make selection. Like, uh, and then, like, after the caviar, if the kids, I would say, like, we can bridge the menu, like, with, with pasta. We have a tagliatelle pasta, and we will share a parmesan, like, for them. Yeah, yeah. Like, so we'll do that. And after that, for their main and fish, but if they, they want to have, like, a, a chicken, like, you also have chicken, like, off the menu. Looking forward to this. So, it's been a long time since I've been here, but. You order everything off the metal menu individually. Um, oysters of pearl, oysters and pearl, whatever. That's the one to start with. Looking forward to it. And the prices are pretty reasonable here too. It's not too bad. Um, 360, I think it is for the prefix menu. They've got some supplement, which I got the I got a few things. So looking forward to this. Three Michelin star restaurant. Let's go. Is that water or lemonade? Lemonade. Oh, they made you like a little mocktail. It's a cool. Top Tete Cuvée by Birkart Samon. This is called Cuvée Nicolas Francois. Uh, it's named after the founder. I thought he had passed away, but he's like 94 years old. And he still drives to the winery. Um, I fear for the people in Champagne. That sounds terrifying. Um, they'll, they'll only make this an exceptional year, of course, 08 being one of them. The uh, assemblage is 60% Pinot Noir and 40% Chardonnay. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Very crisp. Smelling. Apricot. Thank you. Artichoke and kippers, but for you it's going to be a gluten-free grill when everybody's getting a blood sesame tea. Um, for the olive tea. So it's really saffron for fresh. All right. What do you think? Real caviar. You like real caviar. <laughs> All right, first course is down. Classic oyster and pearls. You had the vegetarian version, but you actually like mine better, right? Yeah, you can't go wrong. The wine pairing for me was phenomenal. Loved it. The czar is uh, it's like 100 meters higher in elevation than the rest of the Mosul, so the wines are really ethereal, really light, really pretty. It's a very gentle sweet, um, just so like the food is really good at the same time. I hope you enjoy this. Awesome, thank you. Check it out. Some full gras. That, that's a big green. That's like a bunch. Alright, here we go. A little full gras. I got a blueberry on there for you. You like it? <laughs> Yep, he did put a little cheese on there. Looks amazing. So proper. You know, with a sun dried tomato, uh, basil and paper aioli at the bottom, and then uh, yours with a grill of uh, country bread, like the toast, the toast bun. Uh, oh. uh, all the preparation gluten free, just except for the toast. Thank you. To enjoy with this dish and, this, and the uh, langoustine follow is a 
Premier Crew Chablis by Jean Marc Burkhardt. This is from 2016 from the Premier Crew of Bouteau. Jean Marc's lower end wines are only stainless steel, but with Premier Crew and Grand Cru, he uses used oak barrels just to add complexity and texture to it. Thank you. So the next two courses just been phenomenal. I mean, you can't really give it a score. There's a three Michelin star restaurant here. The committee of inspectors, they're doing their job. They know what they're doing here. They got their stuff together, but just amazing. I just want to show you the different wines, show you the food, show you this whole experience. We'll see how we edit this video together so you can see it all. I'm trying not to be too um, over the top with filming them doing whatever I can to get them into it, but basically they come out, they're going to describe every course, every wine, every bite you take, what you're going to expect, so it's a pretty amazing experience and it's reasonable compared to some other high-end restaurants. I love this place. Not a huge deal, but decrumbing is a huge part of this, keeping it nice and clean for us. They do a great job. A la plancha, so it's seared, so a touch of butter, served alongside some chanterelle mushrooms, uh, which have been creamed with some crème fraîche, French leeks, and a beet and mushroom. Awesome, thank you. Awesome. Thank Appreciate you. it. Cheers. All right, girls, what do you got? All right, give it a sip. Let me know. You might have to have one more after this because there's not much in there. Did he tell you what these are? What are they? We call these Moulin Rouge. So it's, um, we use a, a, like an alcohol less spirit. So it's made with Cilic Glow, which is just taking like an aqueous or water based solution and distilling herbs and spices into that. And this one's based off of like um, oranges essentially. And then we add to that pomegranate, fresh cranberry, fresh lime, sort of like a bit of like a mock cosmetic. That's awesome. What do you think, girls? You like it? It's all right. All right. You can keep this drunk. Awesome. <laughs> you, you girls like it too? Here we go. You ready for this? Does that look like tomato soup? No. <laughs> well, tomato and basil, obviously, things can be presented like differently, but yep. all the flavor that you're familiar with like, needs to be there. Thank you. All right, let me know what you think of it. So this is from Umbria. If, if, if you're, you're in Italy here, and if you cross over the hills when you're in Tuscany, sort of out up into the mountains, you end up here in Umbria. Arnaldo Caprai is probably one of the two most famous names in the whole area. And San Giovese you see all over Italy as well. Yeah. Um, all right. Girls, these are the truffles I'm shaving for the smell that. Oh, if you like that smell or not. That looks amazing. So how much are all of those? That's a good question. More than my salary, I'll put that one. <laughs> Whoops. Don't want to lose a finger. Have you lost one yet? Not yet. Very odd Alright, ready Boo Boo? A little bit of black truffle. Open up. You like it? You don't like black truffle? <laughs> it's from 2006. So this vintage was um, needed time in the bottle for sure. This one's 50% Cabernet and 50% Merlot. And it is really showing some really cool like potpourri and black truffle. It might smell like that kind of course in a little bit. I like it. Like bound black fruit, blackberries, cassis. I'll do enjoy it. The lamb saddle with a spinach mousse under, uh, on the top, a roasted uh, cauliflower top in it, cocktail artichoke, a rohan jazz, which is a northern India Kashmirian curry. We have more coming. <laughs> wow. We have more coming. So fruit, ice cream, chocolate. Kendall. Cheesecake? Uh, that's a, oh, it's hard? Uh, we muted the chocolate mousse. That's a, ras right. a raspberry chocolate. Okay. Thank you. So being placed down right now is a strawberry ice cream with a Swiss meringue and whipped cream. And 
And then along with that is a cappuccino semi-frito. It's a semi-frozen mousse, a bit like ice cream in texture, so you use a spoon when you go ahead and eat it. It doesn't quite drink like a cappuccino. It is completely decaf. Don't so that. There won't be a spoon when you eat it. Uh, pate choux, like warm cheese pot. The cheese is each comte cheese and the warm truffle mousse. Yeah. So we did uh, the cheese its own, uh, the comte, the two as well, with a uh, hearts of palm, uh, the, the small segment, along with the uh, index. Yeah. Thank you. I had the macaroon, how is it? Homemade, do you like it? So every dessert you like. Try the donut, please. Thanks, buddy. All right, you got it all figured out. <laughs> Everything sums up. We're just showing all the kids that every dessert is bite sized here. Sounds <laughs> good. Really good. So the chocolate. Uh, Assortment different flavor here. So first we have uh, the, the raspberry, raspberry white chocolate and rose. Seriously, oh Raspberry white chocolate and rose. The green one is the mint uh, of the mint. One of the cross cut, one of the cross cut uh, thin mint cookies. Your favorite. We have a uh, yuzu, banana. This one is Samoa. So also the okay, Samoa. coconut. Then we have a uh, cherry cheesecake. Peanut butter and strawberry jam, oh. along with uh, maple with honey pecan. So there are, I would say, about three that contains like three uh, things of cookies: the mint cookies, the coconut with the savor, and the cheesecake. Those are the three that contain fruit. The rest are. And then what is the what is that rainbow one again? This one? Yeah. That's a Samoa. This is the coconut. Which one's the peanut butter one? This one. I want the peanut butter one too. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, banana one first. All made here. It's unbelievable. What? You want to eat the cheesecake one? I'll give it to you. <clears throat> All right, now the cheesecake. I think you ought to have the other half. Cheesecake. Sharing is caring. What do you think? Okay, so the bill here. So when I reserved, there were five people. So you got to give $200 up front to reserve it. And you guys will see the dinner on here. So the dinner's um, $7.80 for the two chef tastings. The two wine pairings are $7.80. And then we did the foie gras and the black truffle, which is an extra $40 and $145. Um, this is the way these people operate that... For the kids, three kids, they charge us zero dollars, nothing for all the food that they ate. It's a totally different experience in a place like this. So they've done this in the past when I came here with my daughter. It was just me and her, and they didn't charge us a penny extra. So a lot different than going to the Gunther place down the road. But I'm going to tell you, the service here, you're not going to beat it. The food here you're not gonna beat it the atmosphere you're not gonna beat it the entire experience it's about three hours long kids were a little tired towards the end we said can you speed it up and they do it but I'm not gonna give scores you don't have to this is as high as you're gonna get anywhere that you're gonna go is this a place you're gonna drive by no <laughs> it's a must try you must try it I'm gonna tell you even for the average person save up a little bit if you've got to spend, you know, I mean, you can come here under, it's 400 bucks a person, right? You don't need to do the wine. Not everyone's into the wine. Come, try the food, get the experience. You don't have to do any of the upgrades. You're going to love it. And I would love to know what you think. But I'm going to tell you, you're not going to get in this place easily. You're going to have to book it well in advance. 
plan for it. And if you're alone, try it as a single diner. Let me know what you think about that. You don't have to take a first date out here or over to this place. Go by yourself. Treat yourself. Live a little. This is the place you're going to want to do it. Don't go to that steakhouse. Don't go to just any place. Save up, eat at home for a little bit, give this place a try. Also, if you're on the West Coast, go to Yonville. Try the French Laundry. It's the same thing, it's Thomas Keller. He does it different. And I want you guys to tell me what you think. Every time I've been here, it's been the best. Today, I don't know if you can get any better than this. So another thing I wanna talk about is the gratuity. So one thing that they do here is they actually include the service. So they get paid higher, so they're not necessarily tipped employees. So what they do is they give an optional gratuity. So I totally didn't realize that. I did pay $1,000 before. So I ended up giving them $500 on the $1,900 bill. To me, I mean, I'm gonna give you the money back that the kids, we should have paid for. And I think it's worth every penny, but let me know what you would have tipped in a situation like this. For me, and a blackjack. <laughs> no offense to anybody, but it is, these guys work their butts off. It's worth it. Take care of them. It's another place that Jason was there. Thanks for watching. So this is, this is one of the two sellers. Uh, yes. How many bottles is this home? Uh, this, this whole probably like a five, six thousand bottle. Wow. Not to as well. Uh, uh, selection wise, roughly in a way about like, I think 2000 selection, like okay. on a wine list. That's kind of like the one, well, the grand award minimum. Like a few things that we do here, like a, a copy of the menu, uh, like to that as well. And then a uh, few things that are off-menu items. Oh. So, so if, like, for example, guests prefer not to have certain things. Like, even like for the girls, like, instead of the tuna, like, I have to do like that. Oh, I love it. You got it all right there. Thank you, guys. Damn it. Wow. Oh. Everything pretty much done. Uh, the chef is doing like a menu planning act for tomorrow. That's how the menu like changes on the day basis. So uh, all the food was came from the city. But I'll tell you, it's gonna have a, a good like, like a, a better a better visual. Okay. So uh, this is the French laundry. Right. So, oh, you got it right on there. Yeah. So the French laundry you nap uh, three hours back, and then kind of like set up in a way it's very similar. <laughs> That's awesome. You want to see him? You can wave to him. Say hi. That's great. Huh. That's awesome. So yeah, it's like. Doesn't get cleaner than this. Yeah. And then uh, this is uh, olive oil, like dark chocolate, like a candy bar, like uh, for the for the occasion, like to, to as well. So I'm gonna pass you this. And then uh, the for the menu, like, like everything here. That's great.